Believe it or not, this game is a Souls-like. Hi, I'm Nord, and this is TLDR Plays, the series where we review games in 5 minutes or less so that you can decide whether they're right for you. Another Crab's Treasure is a bright, colourful and unique Souls-like that has you collecting unique shells and fighting for your life on sandbeds under the sea. In the game, you play as an adorable little hermit crab, exploring the sandbed while fighting off aggressive wildlife. You will be battling a range of challenging creatures, from little fish to giant knife-wielding crabs, protecting yourself using a vast range of unique shells. The shell mechanic is entertaining and meaningful, as each shell has its own unique special effects that you can use to help yourself in combat. Whether you're using a tin can, a shot glass, or a plastic brick that's totally not Lego, each shell surprises you with a fun new mechanic that can help you adapt your playstyle for different enemies. You'd be forgiven for thinking that with an art style as cute and colourful as this, Another Crab's Treasure couldn't possibly be difficult enough to be considered a Souls-like, but you would be wrong. This game is genuinely challenging, and testament to that fact is that even after 2 hours of gameplay, I still hadn't defeated all the bosses in the demo, and I died many, many times. The difficulty of the gameplay, even in the tutorial, poses a real challenge while keeping you on the hook for more. The game includes brilliant accessibility options. These options enable the game to be more enjoyable for all players, whether you're looking to challenge yourself on the hardest difficulty or just want to enjoy the exploration. They even added a gunshell mode, which gives you the ability to one-shot any enemy. It's utterly ridiculous, and I love it. If you're looking to get past one particularly frustrating boss, or just want to run around as a hermit crab with a gun, you're set. The aesthetic of this game is absolutely phenomenal, with bright, vibrant wildlife and sensational environmental design. There's a genuine sense of joy and fun throughout the game. The level design involved is intuitive without being overly easy, and there's a good balance between the charming natural landscape and the assorted trash you'll come across. One of the little details that I loved was the trails of sand that get kicked up as you scuttle along the sandbed. It's a minor detail, but it adds so much immersion, and this attention to detail runs throughout the entire game. Another Crab's Treasure can be played with controller or mouse and keyboard. I played through with mouse and keyboard, and I have to say, movements and abilities felt intuitive. Grappling from hooks, climbing nets and dodging attacks, it all felt natural and responsive. Unfortunately, I'm not able to talk about controller gameplay, as my controller had issues connecting with the game. That said, these issues could have been something on my end, so I'd be willing to give it another try in the future. I was pleasantly surprised as I was able to get over 2 hours of gameplay from the demo, and that included taking some shortcuts. Combat felt genuinely challenging, but in a way that made me want to try again and again, pushing me to persevere and defeat my enemies. The colourful, fun aesthetic was refreshing, a pleasant change to the muted, darker aesthetics I've come to expect from Souls-like games. To me, this is exactly what the genre needs, a bubbly, vibrant challenge that can hook in a different demographic of new Souls-like players. I can't wait for this game to come out, and I'd highly recommend it to experienced and new players alike. Another Crab's Treasure is set to release in 2024, but you can wishlist it on Steam now to keep up with updates and help out the devs. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to keep up with all those indie games out there. Bye!